Hi guys, Coach Uttar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how we implemented main screen contract, the interface and that interface basically contained few other interfaces. One is the view interface which extends base view and the presenter interface which extends base presenter. We have put both of these view and presenter interfaces in a common interface called as main screen contract. Now it is time to implement presenter first and then the view. If you see here, I have a package called as presenter and inside that I have a class called as main screen presenter implementation. As of now, this is empty and this is where we will be implementing the presenter. So implements main screen contract presenter and then I will have to implement the methods. Right now they are empty. The first thing is the presenter will have to update the view and the presenter will have to have a reference to the model. So I need to have an instance of the view and the model. So let me create main screen contract dot view here and let me make it private and I will also have a model. Now let me implement the constructor. The view will be passed as a part of the argument. So this dot view is equal to view. I will have to initialize the model. I can get it from my application dot get model. So once we have the view and the model, we need to implement methods. So let me put the start method at the top. And here in the start, when the presenter starts, you have to basically show all the to do's. So view dot show all to do's and we can get all to do's from the get all to do's and you can see that there is an unhandled exception so let me put this under try catch block and if there is an exception the view needs to be told about it so view dot show error the next one is add button clicked and when you click on the add button you will have to implement model dot add to do item and you have to pass along the to do item and the place that you have got from the method arguments and once again it looks like there is an unhandled exception so try catch block needs to be used here and if there is an exception the view needs to be updated so view dot show error we dot get message uh, i think we need to hold the value of whatever this method is returning whether it successfully added the item or not if it is a success then we need to update the view on add and once again we have to get the all to do's and the last part is on to do item selected which is basically what should happen when you click on recycler view item in that case we have to navigate to data manipulation activity that is another screen and we have to pass along the to do id so with this we are done with the implementation of the presenter now the remaining part is you have to implement view and the way we are going to do here is we have a activity here it has most of the basic code already implemented but what we need is this particular activity now needs to implement the view so what we can do here is view main screen contract and then implement the methods so you can see that most of the methods have been implemented now they are still empty but in just few moments we will be filling them up the first thing that we need is a presenter instance main screen contract presenter and this presenter needs to be initialized we have main screen present implementer so new main screen present implementer which implements main screen contract presenter we pass along the view and since our activity implements view it is perfectly fine to pass along this and after that when the button add to do is clicked we will have to invoke presenter dot on add button clicked and then we will have to send edit text new to string dot get text to string and then edit text place get text dot to string so that will basically invoke the presenters on button clicked let me open this particular screen vertically when you click on on button clicked it invokes this particular method and after 
updating the values it invokes some of the methods from the views which we are yet to implement uh, another most important thing is we have to invoke the presenter dot start method so let me do that in the resume of the main activity when the on item is clicked you have to basically invoke the presenters on to do item selected so presenter dot on to do item selected and you pass along the position and after that you have to implement the remaining methods one is show all to do's to implement that we are using recycler adapter so you have a to do adapter is equal to new to do adapter and the arguments are context to do's and on item click listener which is the current activity which is implementing it and then for the recycler view we have to set the adapter and that is to do adapter we will have to implement update view on add this dot show all to do's because when the add is updated you just want to invoke show all to do's method which is already implemented and pass along the, the to do list that we are getting as the method argument and in the show error you basically want to toast the error message uh, there is another possibility that the error message might be something specific like it might be an empty list in that case you probably want to clear the adapter error message equals empty to do list then probably you want to clear the edit text and clear the list view or you just probably want to just clear the list view and in the clear list view basically what I am doing is I am passing a empty array list to the adapter before setting or you can just even hide the list view the next part is navigate to data manipulation activity this method is getting called from the presenters on to do item selected and here we have to still write the whole code of using the intent to start the activity to make it fast i will be simply copy pasting the code from the github this is the data manipulation activity that is going to be called and that activity needs to be passed to do id that they want to show and then start activity and then we have another last method here set presenter in this case we have to write this dot presenter is equal to presenter but this method has not yet been called in the presenter i think we will have to do it in the constructor of the presenter that is this dot view dot set presenter this the view will be set with the presenter and with this we have basically now implemented the presenter and the view which conforms to main screen contract the same concept is applied for the data manipulation activity if you see here there is another contract called as data manipulation screen contract and then once again we have interface view in this particular contract interface which extends base view and here is another interface which is a presenter which extends base presenter and then we have appropriate relevant methods for the views and the presenter of that particular screen and in the presenter package you have a data manipulation screen presenter which has the appropriate view and the model and the appropriate instance variables and the corresponding view is data manipulation activity which implements data manipulation screen contract view so let me run this right now it is empty list and now let me add sample to do one place one add and you can see that this is the new list view that gets updated if i add another one the same list view should once again get updated and when i click on this you should navigate to another screen and now if i remove this it should clear the screen and if you go back the list view should show the updated values and in the same way if you go to the next screen and you want to modify instead of calling it as sample to do to modified to do and click on the modify that value should get updated here and if you go back to the previous screen it should show the modified to do in the list view so with this video i have basically shown you how the very basic mvp is implemented for an android application that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye